Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to everyone. So in this video, we are talking about ICT. For the past three months due to COVID-19, we have restricted to our homes. One of the major affected field is the educational field. So here ICT comes to the rescue. You have heard ICT many times. So what is ICT? What does it stand for? ICT stands for Information, Communication and Technology. So ICT is to consider all user, user, users of digital technology that exist to help individuals, businesses and organizations use information. ICT covers any product that will store, retrieve, manipulate, transmit or receive information electro electronically in a digital form. For example, pers personal computers, digital televisions, emails or robots. So basically, ICT का मतलब ये है कोई भी तरीके कोई भी काम electronically digitally करना through computers काम करना. ICT does not only mean apps; it means using computer technology to ease your work in any field, whether it is your laptop, mobile, online application, or software tools. So I hope कि आपको ICT का मतलब at least समझ आ गया होगा. ICT is definitely the part to take our institutions, especially in countries like ours, as our growth is directly aligned with technology. The field of education is, is no exception, and assuring higher quality education for students will define whether the institution should move forward or perish. Our Honorable Education Minister is also emphasizing on the various online platforms for learning teaching process. So why? What is the reason behind that the government is also emphasizing on it? So the answer is here. Introducing ICT into education is the answer for those who ask, how can we increase the reach of our institution to a larger number of students? Or we can say that how to have a reach over the larger section of the audiences. Online interaction would facilitate learning without time constraints and it will be necessary much more easier to conduct assessments and to generate reports since the necessary information doesn't have to be manually handled. Here it means that if any work is done electronically, digitally or computerized, it will be much easier and time-saving way to work with it. Information communication technology can impact student learning when teachers are digitally literate and understand how to integrate it into a curriculum. Enabling ICT in institution will be useful for NAC, NBA and ABET accreditations. Why ICT in education? Education and ICT are correlated, which can be justified in this COVID-19 pandemic. It provides a platform where education comes with the entertainment. So our policymakers accept that the ICT in education can help the student to compete in the global economy by being the part of a skilled workforce and facilitate social mobility by enhancing their learning experience and providing new sets of skills reaching more students with the massive open online courses, facilitating the training of faculties, minimizing cost and saving time associated with the information delivery and automating regular day-to-day -day tasks. It means basically ICT is making you more effective and the efficient workers and improving the administration of institution to enhance the quality and efficiency of service delivery. ICT core competences. So what does the first thing that comes to your mind? What does this core competency mean? It stands for the resources and the capabilities of ICT in order to succeed in various fields. What are these various fields? The various fields include networking and communication, searching, evaluating, creating, teaching, and technical. So these are the our core competences of ICT. Most of you have already been using these tools for, for classes or for your business meetings. I am covering a few of these tools over here, for example, Zoom, Cisco WebEx, Skype, etc. But there are many more to explore. So here are some video conferencing tools like Cisco WebEx, Zoom, Skype, GoToMeeting, Blackboard Collaborate. Although Zoom has several security issues earlier and has restricted 40 minutes free session, and still it has emerged as one of the most popular video conferencing tool. You can use WebEx or the GoToMeeting for the sessions or classes, which is more secure and can be used for the smooth session with larger audience. 
Although we are teaching online, but we are unable to assess the progress of our students. So here it is the solution to it. You can use this quizzes, testing game tools for having an interactive classroom sessions. So here are some of the quizzes, testing games tools. For example, Google Forms, uh, Kahoot, Poll Everywhere, Survey Monkey, Quizlet, Book Wizard, Class Kick, Class Marker, and Class Tools. And there are still many more. The time we are the time where the seminars has turned into the webinars. You can address your audience with these powerful presentation tools. So, uh, for example, like PowerPoint Online, Keynote, SlideShare, Bouncy, or the Google Slides. And still there are many more. To make your sessions or classroom more attractive and interactive, you can go with the creative creation tools and to attract the larger number of the audience. So here it is like Canva, Visme.co, Visualize, PictoChart, Pixturn, Scribble Map, Blended Play. Here these are the creative creation where you can make your, uh, make your videos be edited or add some uh, interact, interactive things to your videos. In the era of e-learning, our books has turned to e-books. Our learning has become e-learning. You can have to you can have access to the various educational sources like Google, which no which doesn't include need any introduction. It has been used by us since a very long time. Art School, Content Technologies, Coursera, Great Scope, Yog, Ivy.ai, Newton, or the Wally. Here are some educational sources you can have an access to your ebooks or the educational information. Education Ministry and the government have taken a civil ICT initiative to make our current time more effective and efficient. Here are some of their initiatives like Swayam, Swayam Prabha, National Digital Library, EPG Patshala, Shod Ganga, e Shod Sindhu, Spoken Tutorial. And you can find more about these initiatives from the original website of the MHRD. So it is not the end. It is the beginning to a digital education. So together, let us, let us build the most powerful education system. Thank you guys. This was all for, for this video. And if you have any queries or suggestions, you can contact us via the email or the website. Thank you so much.